Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amzad Victoria Yano, the CEO of Victor Designs International. So today I would like to teach us on how to make four different bags. Before I proceed, if you join me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't only subscribe, kindly click on the notification bell so that you can be getting updates on our new videos. Thank you. So first bag is how to make a simple edge design bag with double face leather so we don't you don't need to part this one okay this is it beautiful the second one is how to make a mini traveling bag souvenir okay this is it can you see it so it's for a day journey you can Okay. The third one is how to make a jute bag with a puff and jute bag with a puff and can you see it? Okay. Jute bag with a puff and you can take it to the market. Okay. For shopping. Okay. While the last one is how to make a classic men bag classic men bag that one also is a souvenir bag for you is actually unisex but it's for men the design is designed for men okay so we'll move to the materials needed for all the souvenir bag and the H design thank you now we move to how to make souvenir bag with puff and uh, using jute material okay so the materials needed in making your souvenir bag with puff and do using jute material you need your hose you need hose for the handle You also need zigzag scissors, though it's not a must, but you can use it. You need your straight scissors, you can use either of the two. But I'm using the I'm using both. You need thread, you need belt for taping also. You need your pattern if you're making like 100 pieces you don't need to start measuring again and again all over and over again so you just need your pattern with this one pattern you can cut thousands of it you need pattern you need ruler and you need your jute material so we'll move to the measurements okay okay you also need your flex it depends on what your customer wants. This is Anna Beck Schools, you pardon, wishing you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, 2023. So bag made by, don't forget to always put your name and you need to ask your customer, okay, if they want you to write your name, your name and phone number. Do you understand? For more patronage from the people that they they will be given the souvenirs too. That's the reason for it. So, the measurement on your jute material. This is a big one. Okay, if you're making small one, you can watch my video. You can watch the video on the smaller size of making souvenir bag. Okay, so on your jute material, you measure. 14 inches that's the wideness 14 inches 14 inches by 14 inches by 30 inches 14 by 30 inches okay when you measure 14 by 30 inches we're folding one inches in we're folding one inches in. You can fold more than that if you want. Okay. 
So after folding one one inches on the both side, we are left with twenty eight inches. So for the side, this is the side. For the side, you know, if you have twenty eight left, for the side, this is we're using five inches for the side. So five inch five minus twenty eight. 5 minus 28, you have 5 minus 28, you have 23 inches. So 23 inches divided by 2. 23 inches divided by 2, you have 11. You have 11.5 inches. So the length of the bag will be 11.5. This is it. I've already cut it out. So that's why I folded it into 2. Okay, 11.5 by 5 inches will be the side, the measurement for the side. 11.5 by 5 inches. So that's the measurement for the side. So now we'll move to the sewing part. And for the arm too, I'm using this green. Okay, you know it's Christmas time. So for the arm too, for the undo, you measure one yard, that's 36 inches, and you divide it into two for the undo. Okay, so we move to the sewing part. Now, let's move to the sewing part. On your jute material, you measure 1.5 inches by 18 inches. You cut out two of it. You can use big belt for the handle also, but I'm using jute and one inches belt. So you fold it into two. After folding it into two, you tape the you tape it with belt. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So you tape it with the belt. That's what you do. So after taping it with the belt, you sew it straight. So after sewing it, you make sure you sew the two and then you take your holes and fix the hooks inside the handle. After fixing the holes inside the handle, then you sew it on your jute material.
the holes will be 15 inches you measure 15 inches so you measure two After fixing the holes, the next thing to do is to fold the upper part of the souvenir bar, that is the jute material. You fold one inches in. So when you fold one inches in, you make sure you do it on the both side. Okay, you can use your binders clip to hold it. So after that, that you take your tape you measure 3.5 inches that's where you fix your and so you measure it on the both side so after that you sew it straight together with the hand
The next thing to do now is to fix the side. You can use a zigzag scissors to cut it or you use your straight scissors to cut it. But I will use my zigzag scissors to cut it to give it extra shape, extra design. So look for the middle of the side and also look for the middle of the jute material also. So you fix the middle to middle to sew it. To sew the side, you take your taping and you fix the side and the main body together from the top and you start taping it. So you tape it at the same time also sew it together. 